Anand, I have a question for you, right? I know, I know this will be super useful for a lot of folks who are watching. It depends on how well I answer, Yatan. Yeah, seriously, the question no, will be no, useful. No, no, it, it will sure. be. It will be. It will be because I'm asking you something that you've previously done before, right? I have a bunch of friends, you know, um, and this culture is slowly emerging in India, right? Like they were my writer friends who had nothing to do with the Web three world, but they suddenly discovered the world of NFTs. They're in, you know, twenty five Discord uh, servers. They are buying and they're flipping and they're speculating and they're, you know, they're turn people are turning one ETH into twenty ETH and all, all this stuff. Like this culture exists now. What are some of the sure shot signs of a good NFT project? And what are some of the signs that? You're early on it. Part of my answer is going to be completely useless because, uh, you know, of what Meru said. I'm an OG, but I was never a degen because we approached NFTs from a from a mindset of abundance. Uh, till today, I have not sold a single NFT, and neither has Metacoin. Right? We've never sold an NFT. So the idea of being able to look at an NFT without the cloud of you know, can I flip this? How much is it going to cost? Ironically enough, that's what gets you to the really, uh, you know, the diamonds in the rough, things that are not recognized yet. Uh, those kinds of ideas. Uh, there are basically only two kinds of uh, ways yeah, in which you sort of identify NFTs. Easiest is to stick with the context that you're familiar with, even in Web two. Uh, if if you've been a gamer all your life, look at gaming NFTs because you understand the economics, you understand the dynamics, you understand uh, you know in game tokenomics. So it's easier for you to say that oh this is this shit is overpriced or this is interesting, let me buy it. Same with uh, sport, same with art. That's why a lot of people get into NBA top shots because they understand basketball or so rare because they understand football. Your entry point should be a context which 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 you're familiar with. But the other degen part is uh, anybody's guess, right? It's easy to see what the uh, current trend is. I mean, if it's PFPs, go for PSPs uh, for a little bit. If if it's art with, uh, you know, crypto motifs in it, a Bitcoin symbol, an Ethereum symbol, that's all, you know, crypto uh, art early on was, which is pretty shitty. But then I, I was able to hook into artists who completely defied that trend. And, you know, a, a, a professor from the University of Chicago once told me, so this guy's an art professor. And we were on a panel and all that. He said, the only art that is going to end up in museums is art that does not look like art. And he said, today, 95% of art in the NFT space looks like art, which means it apes existing conventional ones. So I don't think they'll end up in museums, which is a very interesting point, right? And that's that's how I looked at uh, not just art, but also uh the whole N- NFT space in its entirety. When I'm scouting for a company, for instance, to invest in, if it looks like something that's familiar, if it fits uh, a vacuum that exists today, then there's no point in it because it's evolving so fast. It's going to uh, go obsolete in six months. If there is a sufficient 35, 40% ambiguity in how it's going to turn out, that makes it interesting. Also, it's, it's uh, var- variable rewards means higher dopamine also. It's more fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's more true. fun. When things are a little ambiguous, keep <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs>